What's going on everybody? Christian Bauer here, Battle of Sports Media. Going for a nice long run here. Up in Alabama actually. Um, I know I did a live stream yesterday, day before. I got cut off early because I had to go eat dinner, but I do apologize for that in advance. Um, but I wanted to talk real quick. Some news broke, I think yesterday, that Bama players got tested for coronavirus. Um, now, I don't know. I might have missed something. I did not see who it was, but apparently five players got tested positive uh, for the virus. Um, I'm not sure if they tested everybody. I'm not sure if it was just those guys that got tested. I don't know. Um, and again, as I just mentioned, did not see who got tested uh, positive or who got tested in general. Um, but, you know, so what does this mean, first off, for the state of Alabama? What does it mean for the football season for Alabama uh, going forward and everything? Well, if you recall a couple weeks ago, I don't think I made necessarily made a video about it. Um, but I at least said something maybe in a live stream that... Uh, uh, athletic director Greg Burns says the plan is to play a full season with a full stadium, you know, a full schedule, right? Like normal. Um, I'm, I, I'm sure his mindset has not changed on that. Um, you know, so, but with, uh, the players... That tested positive first off they should not play but you know what does this mean just not necessarily for those players because they get tested positive obviously you know you don't want them to play do you even want them at the facilities probably not um because again in july i think july 8th is when everything's supposed to open back up um, at least for practices and stuff for at, at least Alabama is supposed to open then um, and of course I think what what's the date June 15th July 15th uh, is the announcement day where we will know if we're actually getting a season or not if we do get a season and you know camps uh, training facilities you know, all that opens back up. The question is, do you want the players that tested positive to be practicing as well? I, I don't, I don't think you do. Um, you know, because again, they're they're still trying to figure out, I guess, a cure and everything. Unless I've missed something, I don't know. But we haven't seen. Um, you know a whole lot of coronavirus news lately at least that's like oh that's new um all we know is that the virus is still there uh things are opening back up and it's dying off a bit but um so anyway i, ju I just wanted to make this video give my thoughts on the situation i don't know what's going to happen with those players i don't know what's going to happen with the team uh more news on it i, I guess as it comes out um and uh so here those birds <laughs> but uh yeah anyway i uh i just figured i'd make this video and again i hope those players get better um you know i'm sure nick saban uh will make the right decision on what he wants to do with these players you know uh knowing him he probably we probably won't let them practice i don't know uh so but I, I i saw the news and i figured i'd make a video and give my thoughts on it um praying that they get better praying that this virus goes away um completely again things are opening back up things are looking good but again there, there's a possibility that there could be a second wave of this in the fall what even if it all goes away, um, there, there's a possibility 
from what you know of course what we've heard you know october november rolls around uh maybe even september there could be more covid uh but we we don't know we don't know so anyway that's it for this video sorry i, I know i'm walking around and looking around and stuff but uh i just uh at least i'm sure the audio was good <laughs> but anyway I, I figured i'd come on here get my thoughts on this hope those players get better hope everyone with the covid uh, can get treatment, can get better, stay healthy, follow the guidelines, all that stuff. And uh, these are tough times for the country right now, but it's going to get better. I promise you that. So just keep hope alive, have faith. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Until then, Ballard Sports Media, checking out. Y'all have a good day.